taking trips cuz i never tripped on what they said if you speaking from your heart and they say you're going for your head hey guys how are you going this video is going to be a comprehensive guide to the ranger the ranger is a marksman in which all its damage is basically derived from auto attack damage the ranger shines in the end game as the ranger can stack loads of attack really easily which can mitigate high defense end game bosses pretty much are equipped with. The ranger suffers pretty pretty heavily during its grind from level 1 to 220 but wherever you're at what whatever your knowledge on the ranger is at this point in time I hope I can help you at some point in this video. Your goal as a ranger is to utilize your stat points and gear to epitomize your damage. The concept a good ranger must understand is that every single circumstance is different. Different mobs have different levels of armor, resistances, evasions, and defense. To make things easier, I'm going to split this build this section up into two builds. To start things off, I define a build as the combination of all gear, stats, and skill points invested. The two builds I'll be talking about is leveling a leveling build and a bossing build. When leveling, your aim is to essentially increase the damage stat on your stat page as much as you can while still being resource efficient. By resources, I mean stat points expenditure. For example, the strength stat eventually plateaus, however you want to pronounce it. Meaning, if you put enough points into strength, at, one, at some point, each point will start to decay in its effectiveness. I'll elaborate on that game mechanic in another video, however. <laughs> When leveling, I recommend a 5 to 3 strength to dex ratio, whilst having enough vitality to survive. For skills, I recommend steady aim, sharp, sharpened weapons, double shot, sharp shot, and bolus. If you do not haste, use rapid shot over bolus. The reason I like sharp shot when leveling is that it increases your range combat ability, which is essential in the late game. On the screen is a chain, showing what stats you should prioritize when leveling when looking for gear like stats on gear i mean <laughs> weapon ability increases attack and damage and is just is really busted it's really overpowered especially in the late game which i'll talk about later but is only accessible in the late game so don't don't stress if you can't get any items with weapon ability ranger synergizes particularly well with mages as they have a lure to improve your damage the second build is a bossing build. I could talk about gear, formulas and other statistics for probably close to an hour but I'll keep the information I share essential. When bossing, your aim is to stack pretty much as much attack as you can. This is because bosses have high defense, meaning your auto attacks miss far more often than they would on a low, lower tier mobs. You stack attack to mitigate the boss's defense, allowing you to hit more which is far better than having heaps of, a, heaps of damage but missing very frequently. There is an indirect plateau for attack, but I'll devote a whole other video onto game mechanics as I said before. As a ranger, oblivion rings from Necro should be a wet dream. These rings have single-handedly made the ring the most important slot on the jewel, jewelry page by far. A godly oblivion ring gives you 1000 weapon ability meaning you gain 1,000 attack. This alone would be broken for a ring in my opinion, but the fact that weapon ability also fa facilitates about 20% damage in peers, meaning that 1,000 ability would manifest about 200 damage. This isn't even taking into account the 100 strength and vitality into, it, into the ring as well. Anyway, the build is using your gear and stats to accommodate the most amount of attack you possibly can while having an efficient amount of damage. I recommend splitting strength and dex around 50-50 but prioritizing ability and attack over strength and damage. For skills I would recommend the exact same as a leveling build but take out sharp shot because it's, it's near useless on bosses. I would pick up something, pick up rapid and bolus instead. I also would recommend, I know it's kind of pay to win, but the pets, the mounts and the spider, they're really broken. It kind of speaks for itself. I don't need to tell you that they're really good, but, you know, they cost money and 
I suppose that's how OTA make the game better, but yeah, it's a bit pay to win, it's pretty annoying, but yeah, you know, whatever. <laughs> I actually also have a vital tip that is not known and will probably get taken out pretty soon, maybe already taken out by the time you view this, but the attack potion in the shop actually stacks with the attack elixir. As you can see on screen right now, I gain approximately 2k attack for 2 plat. So, yeah, it's pretty busted. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found this video educational. Planning to make videos like this for all classes. Subscribe if you can. If you dislike the video, smash that dislike button. But if you found it helpful, would a like would be appreciated. Cheers. Comment feedback. I don't know, don't hate me. Love you all. See ya.